So basically this is a standard kind of setup for an Angular UI router. So I'm just going to kind of walk you through some of it. Okay, so first thing you'll notice is you'll see these UI SREF. So what that means is it's a link. That SREF means it's going to link to a certain state. And the way that the, the URL router works is it provides states. So each state can have different things. It can have a URL, it can have views, it can have templates, stuff like that. And the way that you get from one state to another is by these UI SREFs. You can see over here the home, route one, and route two correspond to the buttons here on the top. If I go to home, it takes me to the home state. Route one goes to the route one state. Route two goes to the route two state. And those states, so, so that's part one. Um, the second thing you'll notice is these UI-view equals view A and UI-view equals view B. These are what's called a named view in, a, in Angular. A named view is a view that just has a, uh, a set of properties associated with it. And in order to have multiple UI views, Angular needs to have a name so it knows which one you're referring to when you assign it a state. So you can see that these both change to whatever is in the UI, in the, in the view, the name view for that state. So lastly, you have this um, state provider, which actually configures each state. And you can see the state name, index, route one, and route two. Those correspond directly with the UI SREF, index, route one, and route two. So that's the name of the, of the view. That's the name of the state, sorry. I'm gonna ignore the URL for now. What I wanna look at here is the views. So you see this views, um, this views object right here. It has two views inside of it, view A and view B. That's what's going to go inside of here, and that's what's going to show up inside of here. So these are view A and view B. Um, let's go to the index, for example. So what you see in here is a template. Uh, this template is actually, this is HTML, so if I put something like strong hello world in here, it's going to evaluate that string in JavaScript, and you'll see now it's, it's a bold version of hello world. You can put any HTML you want in here and it's going to change in that view in this state, that's what it's going to show. So I can put hello world, I can put in view A on route 1, I can put goodbye cruel world, something like that. And you can see it's going to update right there. Now I know you're asking about where do the templates come from. One of them is you can embed them directly into the state, into your JavaScript. The other thing you can do is you can create a template file, like this HTML file I made, hello world template.html, which contains a bunch of other HTML, anything you want basically. Um, this could be your player bar or uh, whatever other views you want to embed. So what you do if you want to get the, the file is you just say template URL instead of template, and then you give it the name of the file. This is hello world template.html. And now you can see this is a more complicated Hello World example. And you see it's the same HTML as I had in here. So that's the basics of these UI views. They're all based on states. These states are named. And then in this case, the views inside of the state are also named. So it changes depending on which URL you're on. Now in your case, what you might want to do is for view B, we can always put... Uh, you know what I'm going to do is I'm going to create one at the very bottom that looks just like we're going to make it like a player bar. This is what it's going to be, very similar. We're going to make it a span 12, so it's the full width here. div class equals well, UI view equals, and we're going to call it player bar. All right. Now what the UI view does is it actually replaces the content inside of this div with whatever you have in either the template or whatever is in the template URL for that named view. So you can see right now there's nothing in it, so it's just showing blank. I can enter content up here, or I can create another state here called player bar, template, content down here, and you'll see it update. And you'll notice that it replaces the content inside of the div. So even though I have content up here inside the player bar, as soon as I add this view, it's going to completely override 
whatever is inside of this UI view. The UI view takes precedence over everything else. So you see as soon as I add it back, now it says content down here as well instead of content up there. Now, if I were to switch states, I'm in index state and I'm in the player bar view. If I were to switch states to the route one state, you'll notice that it sticks around and it shows content up here again, right? If I wanted to override that, I could simply take this player bar and put it inside of this state. And now content out here as well. And we'll make that a little more interesting. And we'll say still more content. So something like that. And you see how it uh, you see how it updates. Why well, did it not work? Oh, because I'm in route. I have to go to route one. And you see how I'm now I'm in route one, route one, and it gives me this right here. So the final thing here is the URL. So you can go directly to a state just using a URL. So for example, in mine, if I wanted to go to this state, I could actually go to slash route one, and it will automatically drop me into the first state. I'm not gonna do that because this plunker doesn't really support it very well, but that's something you could do as well in your own app you can uh, go directly to a state using the route. So if you wanted to drop somebody right into the player bar, I'm sorry, right into the album page, right into any of the pages, you can just set this URL, and when they go to that URL, it's going to take them right to that state. So that's just a quick overview. Uh, I hope that helps clear things up a little bit, and uh, if you'd like, we can keep going over this. I'm going to share this plunker with you so you can fiddle around with it as well. Um, if you want to create a new file, you can do that here so you can see how the different templates work. Uh, and otherwise, feel free to reach out to me anytime, and I'll be glad to give you a hand and help you out with that. Okay, thanks.